What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how I took notes for my anatomy class. Now this doesn't just have to be for an anatomy class, but the general style of teaching for this class was a lot of freehand drawing and provided with drawing templates and a lot of writing notes on the side. So there was no PowerPoint, no chalk talk. It was mainly just drawing and writing down muscle names and bone structures and then memorizing it at a later time. So let me go ahead and pull it up and show you what it looks like. I use Notability on the iPad. It's my go-to app, but you can use basically any uh, note-taking app that you want. So a typical lecture would look something like this where we have a lot of free drawings. So here we are doing some embryology and you can see that it's just me drawing on the iPad freehand. There's no drawing template. And you can notice that at times these diagrams can get really messy during lecture. So one thing I always like to do when I'm taking notes in lecture is just to write whatever I can and not make it look pretty. I worry about that later. If I need to, if I think it's too messy to study from, then it's good to redraw it because then you go through the material again and then you have something nice to look back at. So when I'm in lecture, I just focus on simply writing everything down that is being written so I have all the notes. And you can even see here that I did record this lecture too so I could go back and listen to any important facts that I missed the first time around. So in that example, there was a lot of freehand, but a lot of times we were provided with some drawing templates like these. So you can see here again, I just did it very messily. It's not the neatest thing, but it served its purpose. And when we had charts that we had to write, I just freehand, we just had to freehand that as well. And this is what it ends up looking like. So it's a very easy way to take notes because you are basically just writing on blank pages or on, on template pages that your professor has provided for you. So if you have another class like that, then it's pretty simple to just go ahead and write on that. So the way that you would start doing something like this in the first place is your professor would upload some drawing template on Canvas or Blackboard or some way for you to have access to it. And you would import that right here into Notability. So for example, here in Canvas, you can see that he uploaded the drawing templates here. And you can just send it to Notability by clicking this share button here. And then you can send it to Notability using this button right here. I don't need to do that because I already sent it and I already took notes on it, but it's really easy to have the templates in Notability. And most apps you can share things to Notability. It's not that difficult to do. So once you have it in Notability, then all it is is a matter of drawing. So what my professor would do is he would use different colors. He wasn't using a digital iPad or anything. He was using pen and paper, but he would use different colored pens and I would just replicate that obviously using Notability. So I would switch my pen colors here to the different colors to match what he was doing. And I didn't have to bring a whole box of colored pens with me or a whole bunch of sheets of paper. And it was really annoying for other students who weren't digitally note taking because he would then add pages like this one. These are blank pages and you wouldn't know how many blank pages you would need for each lecture. So sometimes kids would run out of paper in the middle of lecture and then they'd have to scribble these charts on the side because this blank piece of paper wasn't provided for them. But luckily with digital note taking like Notability or any other note taking service, you can just add as many pages as you want because it's all digital. And then you can rearrange the pages as you wish to without having to staple and unstaple repeatedly. So it's really nice. Another thing that is really useful for this type of note taking is that you can really zoom in and write smaller if you need to. It's kind of not really relevant here, but when we were doing the nervous system, it was kind of difficult to fit everything in one diagram here. So you can see that I had to zoom in here to write like that this was the peripheral process and that this was the central process to make it easier for me to see. And you can change the pen tip size here so that that's also easier to do. And you can zoom in to make it even easier. So you can really write tiny if I zoom in here and I write, I write the word tiny, that looks pretty normal. And then when you zoom out, you can see that it is in fact pretty small right over there. So it's really useful to have these types of things when you are doing a lot of freehand drawing um, or any type of drawing really, because at least for me, I'm a terrible drawer. I'm not good at planning things out on this, like in terms of how to scale things and position things. So having digital note taking really helps me with that because I can 
do things that you can't do in real life physically, right? You can zoom in and zoom out and change things very quickly. That is really difficult to do otherwise. otherwise. Now, as I mentioned, these notes are pretty messy when, that I was taking in class, and that's totally okay. I think that's actually better as long as you are writing everything down and following along. That's more useful than trying to make your looks pretty right in the moment. But when I'm studying, I can't look at such ugly notes. So what I ended up doing is rewriting a lot of my notes and organizing them usefully so that I could study for them later. So here is my embryology guide that I rewrote. So you can see that the drawings are a lot nicer looking. I used some of the shapes features that Notability offers where you can draw circles and hold it down and it makes perfect circles for you. And you can see that I, I put a lot of effort into making each shape exactly the same. So this was just a lot of copy and pasting of the shapes I'd already drawn and just moving them around to make them look more uniform and like a little bit easier to look at. So this does take time. It might be, you don't need to go into that much detail. You may not have to do that. But for me, I like everything to be really perfect. So each one of these circles is exactly the same size and dimensions. I just copy and pasted them and then move them around to draw this uh, blastocyst. And you can see as we go along that it's a little, it's, everything just looks a lot neater. And I'll show you really quick the nervous system notes that I had taken. You might remember before they were really messy, but here you can see that I made them a lot more organized. I made the pelvic and the stomach and the heart look pretty appropriate. Obviously, that's not what the heart looks like. These look like very nice images to represent what I needed. And the easy way to do this is just to copy and paste a picture of like a stomach and then trace over it and then delete the picture and it works really well. And then finally, to go back to some of the drawing templates to show you what those ended up looking like when I redrew them, I made the muscles in highlighter so that they looked a little bit more robust and easier to view in these different colors. And I think it looks a lot nicer like this than the pen shading I had done before, which I showed you in my notes that I was taking in class. This obviously takes a lot more time, which is why I did it after class and not during class. But the end result is that it looks a lot cooler and a lot easier to read and study from when you need to. Now, granted, I did stop doing this halfway through the semester because I didn't really need to do it to do well in the exams. It's a lot of more, more of rote memorization. But initially, when I thought it would be nice to study like this, I uh, did this and when I had a little bit more time in the beginning of the semester uh, I did this as well But this is one of the few instances where I gave up on uh, Sort of rewriting my notes usually if I rewrite my notes It's something that is really necessary for the end of the semester So this was kind of an outlier in terms of giving up on a certain study strategy But there you go. That is how I took notes for my anatomy class now, like I said, it doesn't have to be anatomy if you have any sort of class that involves a lot of drawing and freehanding and some templates that you need to work with. This is how I recommend to take notes for this class on the iPad. And again, you don't have to use Notability. You can use any note-taking app of your choosing. I just like Notability because it has the most features that I use and it has this audio recording so that you can record the lecture and go back to listen to it when you need to, which is extremely useful. So that's about it. I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next video.